What is going on guys? This is 2K Baller here and I have a lot to talk about today. So as you guys know, there is the 1.8 um update that's coming out on Minecraft uh between August 15th and September 15th, 2012. Um so I am really pumped about this cuz this is going to be a huge update. Uh it's going to have a lot of stuff in it. It's going to have a whole bunch of new mobs and I'm going to have a whole list of this in the um, description and my source so it has a whole bunch of new mobs is endermen silverfish and cave spiders it's got a whole bunch of new blocks it's got stone bricks stone brick slabs stone brick stairs brick slabs and brick stairs fence gates glass pans iron bars and melons and it's also got the new creative game mode which is gonna be pretty cool and it's uh it features um in the terrain generator a new features in the train generator generator okay uh optionally gener generated structures like the npc villages strongholds abandoned mine shafts and ravines um it's got the new f frank fractal based biome code added and removed some biomes while making all of them more vast than before rivers flowing through in between biomes ocean biomes that are deeper and much more vast than before they got the mountain biome the swamp snow and taiga and tundra biomes do not generate for technical reasons they return in beta 1.9 um they got the new ocean floor which is a random mix of sand dirt and clay because of this clay is much more common the new combat mechanics hold to charge bows uh, they got the critical hits. The players can parry with the sword by holding. Uh, it says right mouse, but I don't know what it would be for the Xbox. Uh, it's got the hostile mobs perform attack animations. Mobs killed by players drop tiny flashy experience orbs that add to your experience bar. So there's going to be XP. Um, they got the new food system. There's now a food meter. Uh, food no longer heals directly, but indirectly. If the food meter is above 90%, heals uh, half a heart about every five seconds. Um, all food except mushroom stew are now stackable. Food takes 1.6 seconds to consume. Accompanied, accompanied with an animation. Five new food items melon slices raw chicken raw beef cooked chicken and steak steak which has uh cooked pork chops cooked pork chops old texture cooked pork chops um new texture is a tan shade of the same sprite so uh eating any raw food or rotten flesh has a chance to give the player food poisoning which makes the hunger bar decrease three times as fast now there is new seeds for farming, pumpkin seeds, and melon seeds that produce pumpkins and melons, respectively. A new achievement, uh, kill a skeleton with an arrow at 50 meters. They added sprinting. They added the ender pearl. They had some mob changes, which are the passive mobs will randomly flee if attacked by the player or other mobs, such as wolves. Zombies drop rotten flesh instead of feathers, which is pretty good. Uh, the snout on pigs now protrude from their head. Skeletons now hold full-size bows. Player to mob damage decreased by half a health. Arrows that hit a mob visually stick into the mob rather than just disappear. Skeleton arrows er originate from about their eyes to the bow instead of above the head. Um, animals no longer despawn, which makes it possible to capture them. Shears can now collect tall grass and the new vine. Uh, new improvised, imp improved lighting. Day-night cycles no longer require chunk updates and is a smooth transition. The lighting on a block is given a tint based on the pr most prominent source of light. Um... And then there's a whole bunch of other uh, stuff. I won't have enough time to do this because it's going to take a while. So they got uh, new textures for moss stone to match cobblestone. 
things and a whole bunch of other stuff. I will show you the whole list in the description. Um, it's going to be pretty long, but uh, I'm doing it for you guys. So, um, yeah, just subscribe and click on the link below to uh, see the full list. So, yeah, thanks.